And tea farmers from a Chinga factory in Odaya, Nyeri County, have thrown out the Kenya Tea Development Agency chairman, Peter Kanyago, as a factory director in a controversial poll called by farmers through an extraordinary annual general meeting. Now, the move could bring to an end his 26-year reign as the chair of the tea agency that controls billions of shillings annually. Martin Munene has more. <laughs> These were the scenes at the Gishishe Stadium in Chinganyeri County earlier today. Celebrations as farmers elected new directors to represent their interests at the Chinga Tea Factory, where the current chair of KTDA is a director. <laughs> farmers expressing optimism that their fortunes will change for the better. <laughs> And to represent the Mumbo in a West Electoral Zone at the factory level, the elected Mark Mwangi replacing the current KTDA chairman. Mwangi beating his only opponent, Jen Wanjiko, after garnering 235 votes as they used the one man, one vote formula backed by the T Act 2020. <laughs> His entry complicating matters for the current chair, as one can only head the agency if they are first directors at the factory level. Mwangi says the new formula gives farmers more power. Uh, they adopted the mode of election of uh, how many bushes you own. A lot of farmers were disenfranchised. And when they were out of uh, the decision-making process, they started making noise. But uh, considering that he would only approach five, ten growers for the appointment, he forgot the people who elected him. Hence the, the, the animosity you can see. However, even as farmers celebrate the changes, controversy over the validity of the exercise still lingers. The High Court suspended an executive order by President Uhuru Kenyatta in March that sought to have elections in the tea factories within 60 days. <laughs> but Patrick Bunjiri, a lawyer representing small-scale farmers, insists that the elections that have elbowed out Kenyago are anchored on the Companies Act and memorial and articles of each factory that has conducted elections. He says the elections will enable the implementation of reforms in the sector. Change will, will permit up to the national level and with that change we will be able to implement the T Act that was uh, enacted by uh, both houses of parliament and accepted by the president. So we have an opportunity now to remove those who have been blocking the tea reforms. Detectives recently raided KTDO offices as the implementation of the sector reforms that propose, among others, financial audit of the agency intensify. Martin Munene, Citizen TV.